can look back and wonder about all the bad things, but for me, it happened, and I have to move on. Those are the words of Patrick Steffen, the 1999 first overall draft pick whose NHL career didn't exactly go as planned. In this video, we're diving into Steffen's journey from top prospect to, uh, well, not so top player. We'll look at the stats, the struggles, and yes, that empty net miss that changed everything. It's a story of expectations, disappointments, and how one player's misfortune shaped the future of the NHL. Stay junky, my friends, because this is one wild ride you won't want to miss. In 1999, NHL scouts thought they'd found the next Wayne Gretzky. They were wrong. But man, were they excited about Patrick Steffen. This kid was tearing it up in the International Hockey League, scoring 35 points in just 33 games for the Long Beach Ice Dogs. Not too shabby for a teenager playing against grown men. Steffen had all the tools that made scouts drool. He was a big, skilled center with a knack for playmaking. One scout even said, he is going to be a dominating playmaking center. He is a guy who looks to make the play rather than shoot himself. I pray right? But as we all know, potential doesn't always translate to success. Here's where things get a bit dicey. Stefan had a couple of serious concussions in his draft year. He missed a bunch of games and some people started to worry. Was this guy damaged goods? But hey, when you're talking about a potential franchise player, sometimes you take risks. Now let's talk about how the Atlanta Thrashers ended up with the first pick. They were a brand new expansion team looking for a face of the franchise. And boy, did they need one. The 1999 draft class wasn't exactly stacked with talent. In fact, it's often called one of the weakest drafts in NHL history. Youch! Draft day rolls around and the hype is real. Stefan's name is on everyone's lips. The Thrashers make their pick and Stefan puts on that fresh Atlanta jersey. He's beaming, telling reporters, I was thrilled. This was the moment when the first part of my dream came true. My name just went down in history. Little did Stefan know what kind of history he'd end up making, but that's a story for later. At that moment, he was on top of the world. The Thrashers had their guy, the one they hoped would lead them to glory. Here's a fun fact for you. The Sedin twins were picked right after Stefan. I bet the Thrashers wish they could have a do-over on that one. But hindsight is 2020, right? So there's Stefan wearing the Thrashers jersey ready to take on the NHL. But wearing the jersey and living up to it are two different things. Picture this, you're the number one overall draft pick, the future of a franchise. Now imagine scoring just five goals in your rookie season. Welcome to Patrick Steffen's world. Was it all his fault, or did factors beyond his control derail his NHL dream? Let's dig into Steffen's saga and uncover the truth behind his struggles. When Steffen laced up his skates for the Atlanta Thrashers in 1999, expectations were sky high. Fans and management alike were dreaming of highlight reel goals and jaw-dropping plays. Instead, they got a rookie season that was about as exciting as watching ice melt. Stefan managed just five goals and 25 points in 72 games. Not exactly setting the league on fire, eh? But before we write Stefan off as a total bust, let's look at the bigger picture. The poor guy was playing for an expansion team that won only 14 games that season. Talk about being thrown into the deep end without water wing. And let's not forget about the injury. Stefan's body seemed to be made of glass, with a broken jaw, broken ankle, and hyperextended elbow, causing him to miss 62 games between 1998 and 2004. Ouch! Stefan's playing style. Remember that scout who said Stefan was a dominating playmaking center? Well, that style didn't exactly translate to the NHL level. Stefan was more of a setup guy than a sniper, which is great if you're playing with elite scorers. But on a struggling Thrashers team, not so much. A former coach even said Stefan looked to make plays rather than shoot. In the NHL, sometimes you've got to be a little selfish and light that lamp yourself. As the seasons went by, Stefan's stats remained as flat as weak old soda. He never managed to score more than 14 goals in a season. For a first overall pick, that's about as disappointing as finding out your favorite team traded away all their draft picks for a bag of pucks. But wait, there was a glimmer of hope. In his best season, Stefan managed to rack up a whopping 40 points. Okay, maybe glimmer is too strong of a word. It's more like a faint flicker of a dying flashlight. And just when you thought things couldn't get worse, they did. In the 2006-2007 season, after being traded to the Dallas Stars, Stefan scored just 5 goals and 11 points in 41 games. Yikes. So how did Patrick Steffen go from number one draft pick to NHL disappointment? It was a perfect storm of injuries, unrealistic expectations, and a playing style that just didn't mesh with the NHL game. But even Steffen's best wasn't enough to silence the critics. 
Imagine having the chance to seal a victory with the easiest play in hockey, an empty net goal. Now picture botching it so spectacularly that it becomes your career's defining moment. For Patrick Steffen, this nightmare scenario became reality. But the true impact of his mistake wouldn't be fully realized for years to come. January 4th, 2007, the Dallas Stars were facing off against the Edmonton Oilers. With just 13 seconds left in the game, the Stars were up 5-4. to four. Stefan got the puck with a clear path to an empty net. It should have been game over, right? Well, not so fast. Stefan skated towards the goal, probably already thinking about the post-game celebrations. But then, in a twist that would make even the most dramatic soap operas jealous, he missed. And we're not talking about a close miss here. Stefan tried to backhand the puck into the net, but it bounced over his stick like it had a mind of its own. Then, to add insult to injury, he fell flat on the ice. Talk about a face plant. But wait, it gets worse. The Oilers snatched up the puck and raced down the ice with just two seconds left, Alishemsky scored, tying the game. The crowd went wild, and Stefan, well, he probably wanted to crawl into a hole and never come out. Ray Ferraro, who used to play with Stefan on the Thrashers, was doing the broadcast that night. He didn't hold back, saying, Patrick Stefan, you should be embarrassed for what you just did. That does not belong in the National Hockey League. Oof, that's gotta hurt. Stefan tried to explain later, saying, I saw it was bad ice, and I had so much time, so I just tried to carry it all the way to the net. As soon as I put it on my backhand, it jumped over my stick. But let's be real, that explanation didn't stop this play from becoming the hockey equivalent of a viral video. Now here's where things get really interesting. This miss didn't just embarrass Stefan, it changed the course of NHL history. No joke, because of this game, the Oilers finished just above the Chicago Blackhawks in the standings. That meant the Blackhawks got to pick Patrick Kane in the draft, and we all know how that turned out. Three Stanley Cups later, the Blackhawks probably owe Stefan Stefan a fruit basket and a new car. So there you have it. One missed empty net led to a dynasty. The miss heard round the world wasn't the end for Stefan, but a new beginning was coming. Stefan's journey from NHL draft pick to retired player at 27 is a wild ride. Most guys are just hitting their stride at that age, but Stefan was hanging up his skates for good. His final NHL season with the Dallas Stars was a tough one, with only five goals in 41 games. Talk about going out with a whimper. But it wasn't just poor performance that pushed Stefan out of the league. His body was basically telling him, dude, we're done here. Injuries had plagued him throughout his career, and a serious hip problem was the final straw. Stefan wasn't happy about retirement hiring so early, saying he hoped to play for another decade, but sometimes the hockey gods have other plans. So, what does a first former overall pick do when his playing days are cut short? Stefan's answer might surprise you. He decided to stick around the game, but in a whole new role. In July 2008, just a year after retiring, Stefan became a certified NHL player agent. Talk about a career 180. As an agent, Stefan's been putting his experience to good use. He's represented players like Czech goalie Michael Neuwirth and forward Michael Repic. I guess being a draft bust himself gives Stefan a unique perspective on the pressures young players face. But wait, there's more. Stefan's not just wheeling and dealing contracts. He's also gotten into coaching youth hockey. He's been the head coach for teams like the Detroit Junior Red Wings and the Little Caesars under 15 squad. Imagine being a teenage player and having a former NHL first overall pick as your coach. That's pretty cool, even if your dad keeps making empty net jokes. Stefan's approach to coaching is all about using his experiences, good and bad, to help young players. He's big on using video as a teaching tool and encourages creativity on the ice. His message to players? Bad things happen, unluckily, whatever it is. How are you going to respond after that? Good or bad? Sounds like someone who has learned a thing or two about bouncing back from setbacks. So how does Stefan view his own hockey legacy? While he might not have become the next Wayne Gretzky, he's found a way to make a positive impact on the game. And with his son James, now a prospect for the Edmonton Oilers, Stefan's hockey story is far from over. Who knows? Maybe the Stefan name will still make it big in the NHL after all. Patrick Steffen's story isn't just about missed opportunities and empty nets. It's a cautionary tale for every hockey prospect dreaming of NHL stardom. The journey from first overall pick to early retirement shows how unpredictable hockey careers can be. But here's the thing, Steffen didn't just let his struggles define him. He's still making an impact in hockey as an agent and youth coach. So, what do you think? Who's your pick for the biggest draft bust in NHL history? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, even if you miss an empty net, there's always a chance to bounce back. Check out these other beer league hockey guy vids and please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more quality hockey content.